this is just me taking an opportunity to complain. Um, and I don't drink remotely as much as I used to. And that's a great thing, I suppose, but um, when I do decide that I would like to go get the odd beverage, I found that the gas station down the road from me and the grocery stores and basically everywhere has stocked an absurd amount of this crap called hard seltzer. Uh, White Claw is apparently the best known, but all over the place there's like Bud Light seltzer and you know, just, just all these low alcohol, garbage tasting, not beer, not fruity beverage. It's like they took it's like they took a Zima out back and poured some club soda in it. It's... Who came up with this crap? Like, this stuff tastes terrible. You know, the, the way that it is, I might as well just drink a club soda. It's garbage. Look, look, this, this is the kind of stuff I've been drinking lately. Polar, seltzer, cranberry lime. It's just seltzer water with no alcohol. I would have a better beverage if I took that and I poured a shot of vodka in the bottle. Uh, in fact, that's not far off from the way their stuff tastes, except somehow, somehow they managed to make it taste worse than that. Like, look, I've, I am old enough, I have had more than my fair share of variety of things to drink, and, uh, and it doesn't sell. I know, I've been reading on the internet, oh, the stuff sells like crazy. Well, son of a bitch, where is it selling like crazy? It sure isn't selling like crazy around here. I go into stores, I go into convenience stores, I just drop in places all the time, and even if I'm not there to get any alcohol, which usually is the case, I make note of what's available. I just, I kind of look over their selection, maybe there's something I haven't heard of, and so on. Routinely what will happen, the, the club tales, margaritas, or sex on the beach, or blueberry mojito, whatever, will be fairly empty. Um, the Seagrams, the various Seagrams, like, uh, what do you call that one? Um, the, the, the pink one that I actually like a lot, Jamaican Me Happy. The screwdriver ones, the, you know, it's all these fruity, uh, 10, 8, 10, 12, whatever percent alcohol drinks, gone. Empty. But the seltzer? Oh, there's no shortage of seltzer. Son, if, if you want a drink with alcohol in it, you know, which the bare minimum to be called an alcoholic beverage or a malt beverage or whatever. If you want a, a garbage drink with alcohol in it, you walk into any convenient or grocery store or whatever, and they've got no shortage of this seltzer crap for you. If it's selling, it isn't selling here. It isn't selling anywhere that I go. It isn't sell. I don't know why. But for some reason, every other kind of drink that exists is being cannibalized no longer stocked in favor of this seltzer that does not appear to be selling. I mean, I'll look. I'll look in the back. You know, I'll look down the row and see, like, oh, there's like eight cans of this, uh, what is it, Natty Daddy lemonade, you know, the 8% stuff left. And then there's, like, full rows, totally full rows of every seltzer known to mankind left. So either they are stocking them so aggressively that it looks like they're not selling, or nobody actually wants the crap. So get rid of it. Just Let's all just admit that hard seltzer sucks. Let's just admit that hard seltzer is basically a better drink that has had a whole bunch of bullshit poured into it to water it down, plus some extra chemicals just to make it taste even worse. We all need to admit that hard seltzer is garbage and that we shouldn't be bothering to drink it. Stop stocking the stuff and get some more of those nice fruity ones so that every once in a while when I feel like having a fruity frickin' beverage with some alcohol in it, the rare instances that I'll get up and go get one, that I actually have something to pick from instead of no fruity beverages out of the few that you still stock and a billion seltzers that taste like trash. And on that ding-dong note in my pocket, I'm going to go and complain about this to someone else. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening to my rant.